in terms of the Mark Tanner Award, um, actually, uh, it was on the second time of my applying that I finally got it. So the first time, um, everyone came out to the studio and uh, um, and I sort of saw that there was like there must have been some potential there, I guess, but things were, were less resolved at that time. And it wasn't until the second year that I, um, uh, you know, it was at a point where I could really take it forward um, and. Uh, sort of get, getting all that time to work on stuff and have the focus of the show at the end of it um, really helped to um, it allowed me to sort of try out a lot of new directions and, and also kind of um, consolidate a lot of the stuff I was thinking about at the time so it was just getting a chance to really really focus on things I guess um, and a lot of the stuff I'm working on now has is, is kind of come out of that that period um, although it's you know the, the, the techniques are different, but that sort of way of working is is, is still the same. I'm getting this kind of uh, sort of cast on onto that, so I'm, I'm actually covering up quite a lot of the making yeah. of it. Um, I don't know if you can see here. Okay, that's too well so to peel off, but. Um, so it is a sort of casting process, covering up quite a lot of the working that was going on underneath. Uh, but you get these kind of indications of some kind of rigid structure against this soft foam. Uh -huh. um, and that presumably all stays there. It's not like you kind of take that away. Yeah. Like in a normal casting process. But yeah, yeah. But in this case, it'll be it'll all be covered. Yeah. So it's about kind of covering up. The working way, which is a bit of a departure for me, because normally I, I, I want to show everything. Yeah. I want to show yeah. everything that's got into it. So the general idea was to get this kind of linear thing going on, um, uh, so that there was some kind of um, indication of a structure underneath. But then there's this kind of um, kind of filling in going on as well with the foam. Um, so I was thinking of it as a kind of, I kind of refer back to drawing quite a lot, or, or sometimes painting, or sort of two-dimensional work and finding analogues for those in sculpture. Um, so with this it was kind of having this kind of linear structure with a kind of almost like a wash of foam or uh, a kind of filling in or like a, a flesh over uh, some kind of skeleton. What sort of foam is it? It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a sort of two-part polyurethane. Okay. Um, and for some reason it was important to, you can, you can buy it as a sort of rigid foam as well, but for some reason I'm not quite sure why it was important to me for it to be soft. I think possibly to get a contrast with the, the rigidity of the structure that's supporting yeah. it. I, I keep the whole space as a kind of, um, you know, like a kind of soup of stuff that's happening at various stages of completion and, um, you know, out of that, like I say, I try and try and make some sense out of it. Um, and sometimes I'll work on things for you know months and months and then just they get thrown away or they get sort of, I'll cut out one piece that's really small and then that'll uh, that that's that's the work. Um, so quite often it's a kind of editing process. I'll, I'll just um, focus on a detail and take that out or, or take that detail out and then that's a seed that something else develops out of. Um, so yeah, it's kind of organised chaos, but more chaos than organisation. Yeah, sometimes you just got to make space and it all ends up getting piled up. But sometimes, you know, that can lead to interesting things. The sort of, you know, out of the chaos, you can kind of slowly create some kind of order. Um, and you get these funny combinations of things that uh, just kind of happen by accident. Um, so I mean, I started doing a lot of this kind of uh, sort of woven uh, stuff and again I suppose it's kind of similar in that it's it's having two very different elements and getting seeing how they can work together in this case the, the sort of more linear sort of stitching which is a bit kind of amorphous um, it's a bit fell out there uh, <laughs> uh, combined with the more you know the more structural elements um, so it's, I, I suppose the common theme is, is sort of combining a kind of um, uh, sort of the way the way something looks tells you about it its structure. 
and everything's kind of there for a reason. Um, so the, 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 the idea is that the things have a kind of sort of logic to themselves. Everything's there for a reason, and nothing there that, that's you know superfluous. It was also at that time I started started sort of the phone casting. Um, you're st starting off on quite a small scale, so that's another little early experiment with that. So the work that involves this kind of uh, paper skin over the uh, wire mesh um, uh, surface, that's uh, another sort of line of work that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, and it's about kind of create a very, something very, uh, something very thin, make quite a, a large volume. Um, and it's all, they're also quite quick to make, but they're also big, so it was kind of this, I was trying to develop a kind of broad brush approach uh, where I could do something really quick and spontaneous, um, and yet it you know, takes up a lot of space and it's quite, has quite a big impact, um, as opposed to some of the more laborious stuff, um, which involves um, sort of working at a smaller scale and then building up from that. One of the outcomes of the award was that I met Christian Moody from um, Arcade Fine Arts, uh, who'd seen the show and didn't know my work before that, but it was through the, uh, the, sh the Mark Town Award and the show at Standpoint that he became familiar with the work. So, um, yeah, from a sort of uh, the point of view of them being able to get, you know, get more work shown and be able to make more work, it's, it's uh, yeah, really, really worked out well.